Okay, everyone, we are back to do our Oli test. And we're just gonna see how it does get it out, out of here. See if I can enable it soon enough so I can take this left turn right here. Okay. So, so far today, it's done pretty well, I think. Um, nothing overly crazy and dumb. I think everyone else is just kinda, kinda no bad luck of the draw. Um, yeah, that, that did fine uh, right there. I got in the lane, uh, went forward a little bit, and then changed lanes again. It needs to be, it's thinking really far ahead, which is good. This is how I was taught to drive, is you need to think really far ahead, uh, which is, I know I need to take a right turn here, so go ahead and get in the right lane now, right here while there's no traffic around, and you don't have to change lanes further up ahead and just makes your life way easier. Let's turn it on. There he goes. Blinker. I was gonna say it, the blinker is fine. You can have a blinker here. Um, so it did fine. Better than last time where it was trying to like go left for a right turn or something. I'm pretty sure it did that here. Um, I'd be curious going off the highway. We might not do that until later this week. Um, I'll do that Thursday morning. Or right, I'm heading up to Michigan Thursday, and I might be doing some videos going up to Michigan. Um, We'll see. Uh, last time, I didn't make any videos last time in Michigan, but I think I will this time. I'm going to see about making a towing efficiency test video. Uh, so if you want to see that, go ahead and get subscribed. Um, and let me know down below if you want to see those type of tests. My uh, uncle has an enclosed trailer, and so it's going to be basically worst case scenario. And I can easily go, I think, 60 mile an hour on the road in front of their house. So that would be a good towing test for that type of uh, equipment. So it seems to change the speed a little bit sooner now, which is good. Like that was, that was appropriate. It changed it like a good 10 feet before the sign and then started speeding up, which is appropriate. I think it could do it even sooner personally, but it, I don't see anything wrong with what it's doing now. So it braked for that truck there, I think because it didn't have a good road marking here. But it wasn't anything. Okay, so it braked. I mean, that is a caution area. There could be a lot of people around, but it, I think it braked too much right there. Uh, wasn't anything like, you know, super jarring, but it, it, it braked probably a good five to 10 mile, good five mile an hour more than it should have braked. Okay, it broke really hard right there, so that was not good. Um, let's go ahead and cancel out this point. Again, I think you should just be able to tap on the point and then have it delete without having to go into that menu. And so there's no one, okay, I'm pressing it to make it go because there's probably people in the house line. Why is this person stopping um, in front of our house? Um, but yeah, so there's no car coming from the left, but it can't really see over the grass. And now there might be a truck coming. No, oh, that was good. Okay. That was that was hard. Um, much harder in, now than in the winter time because you have this tall grass right there. You can't really see uh, over the grass. At least I can't. And so it, it did the right job. It creeped forward. And then... Once it got close enough, realized there's not a car coming in its time frame, it just they lunged out a little bit quicker. That actually was really appropriate. That it creeped really um, slowly, and then uh, since that's what I would have done because I couldn't really see well through the grass. So I like knowing I had enough time to accelerate up to speed, I would then you know get out and get up to speed on if there was a car coming and it wouldn't have been an issue. So I guess what we got. Yeah, we did this uh, section with zero disengagements. Let's see if we're gonna do the next section with zero disengagements. It's not gonna, well maybe, we'll, we'll gonna try to turn into Aldi. We're not gonna count that if it does just because it's it's not um, meant for parking lots yet, but hey, nailed it. Okay, we'll uh, see you when we get back out. Hey everyone, we are back headed home from Aldi and um, this, section of the route has potential to fix several issues um, we were having with the previous version uh, but we'll see 
this uh we have been starting it out of the parking lot okay honestly i got lucky because i was i accidentally set it to cruise control and not autopilot but uh it, it made it um it, it, it got out of the parking lot and turned that's what we needed yeah okay i pressed the accelerator to keep it from breaking even further because I thought, I thought that car was going to cut in front of me, and it thought it, that car was going to cut in front of me. It didn't. It stopped. But the car, again, like Elon said, is choosing to do the safer option instead of the smoothest option, which is brake. Um, brake before the car can hit me, in case it, it just assumed the car was going to keep on going and not pay attention, you know? So, that's, uh, that's good that it, um, that it made it through. Okay, let's see how it does in this turn. So. Very good. And uh, yeah, because that car to my right uh, turned and almost started turning into my lane. My car did the right thing and swerved around. The, it's definitely was good. Now, the, what the previous version would do is, is try to get into the right lane here uh, and then try to go into the mall parking lot because uh, there's a lane right beside of me and then there's another lane to the right of that. There's a right only turn lane and it dead ends at this traffic light up here. Uh, and the car kept on trying to go into that. That was like the, one of the only versions ever to do that. Uh, there was like one other version that tried that. But every other version had it correct. It was after like a map update and something, they re redoing the neural nets how it does planning. However, what it needs to do is get the next space that has opening I think it's already thinking, trying to do this. Uh, that's what that tone was that it just beeped. It's trying, it wants to get over in the right lane, uh, which I want it to get over in the right lane, which is why ideally, I think all the way back here, and I would have stayed in the right turn lane uh, there, and then I would already be in that right lane. Okay, you can tell it's already wanting to get over. And because of this car in front. Okay, so keep the blinker on. Look at that, that truck let me in. Excellent, great behavior. That's that's much improved. I think this might be the first version actually to ever have like correctly done that. It would, every other previous version would have waited until past, um, at least until this light up here and then tried to get over right past the light, which is like way too late to try and get over to get onto the highway. That's much better. Elon did say that would be improved in this version. I can definitely confirm. Okay, that seems a little bit slow for getting on this section. Also, this, the speed limit is wrong. It should be 45 right here. Or, oh, I wonder if, so it was, maybe it was using map data previously, and because it couldn't see a sign for 45 and it didn't go up to 45, interesting anyways so okay we got this red car here it needs to slow down a little bit and get behind the red car and zippers in again it's i still think it used i mean that's i think that's going to be a debate for a while we all think it should use a, a turn signal regardless if it needs it or not uh i think that's it, i think that's something that probably some areas will require i suspect in europe that's required um, if not here, so it should just do it everywhere. It should do the best thing. Uh, not just because it doesn't have to. It should do the best thing possible, and it's not costing any extra thought process to turn the blinker on to get onto the highway. And that was an appropriate lane change here. I'm actually going to up at the 70 mile an hour here, just because... It's, it's gonna get stuck like right here and they want to get over and get back over in this lane instead of just passing everyone So there is a there's a model 3 behind us and well, you can't see it in the video. It's like way back there um, It looks closer in the rearview mirror, but um, it's always interesting because it's certainly most certainly they're probably on autopilot And so it's always interesting like know if they're on the autopilot and now full self-driving 
like, oh, now the truck got behind us. Well, so much for that. There's always, it's always fun to think, like, okay, well, is this person with an autopilot drive or are they driving? You can usually tell because autopilot stays pretty dead center in the lane, and then a human is just, it's, they meander back and forth. And so, it's, 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 it's kind of funny just how much better autopilot is a lot of times when it comes when it comes to something as simple as staying straight in the lane. Okay, here's gonna be an interesting spot because it's gonna have to slow down to 55 and it really needs to go ahead and get over in the right lane. Yeah, so that's a much better speed to slow down. I don't actually want to go that slow, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and make it get over in the right lane. But that was a much improved uh, over the, at least it seems to be improved. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems to not deaccelerate as harshly uh, versus previous version. So it doesn't need to get over in the, like we're so close to our exit. I don't know why I was trying to get over in the left lane right here. That's not a good move. I'm not sure why this SUV is also going like 10 under the speed limit. Where a semi truck is passing them going uphill. That's, that doesn't make any sense. I bet they're out of state. <laughs> I, there are some people who are afraid to go fast up a hill. I don't why like, I guess people grew up in the flat area just not used to it or something I don't know or maybe they just don't want to push their car very hard or something I don't know what's had any number oh maybe they're trying to find their exit okay they're getting off here anyways let's see how it stops here going off the highway so you can see it meandering back and forth in the lane it doesn't know where it really where it needs to go is to stay to the left and we have a cyclist we're gonna have to go around hopefully that's not gonna get in our way because we're probably gonna end the end the route before before that's an issue let's see how it does here I'm looking for a little bit more assertiveness here though there is a car coming from the right we need to stop for and they're going on the highway and we are good to go okay it's creeping forward for, there's no one around me so I'm just gonna this is this is n not assertive this is more timid um, it made it, like, it did fine, but, like, it, yeah. And the reason it stopped accelerating is because of that truck in front. Because, uh, it's, uh... Oh, interesting. Okay, yep. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if it's gonna go around this person or not. It's making up a line in the middle, so, yeah. I think we're going to end it there. This is probably not the safest road to pass this guy, but we're, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, put them down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.